I'm the Disc Golf Guy here with Spin TV, and I'm joined by our co-leader, Nate Sexton. Nate, how's that sound? Co-leader of the USDGC. It's great. Hope I keep it going a couple more days. Uh, you shot very well out there today. You had a three-stroke deficit to Nate Doss. Now you're all knotted up with him. What was the difference between you two? Well, besides the obvious three strokes. Um, well, I caught up to him pretty early, I think uh, through about six holes. Uh, and then I gave it all right back. <laughs> And then uh, he had me by maybe four strokes, um, somewhere in there, three or four in the middle of the round. And then he made a bogey when I made a birdie on 888. Uh, he made a par when I made a birdie on the hole before that. So I got three back on those two holes, got another two more on 15. So I must have been down by a little bit because I, got, uh, I made up a lot of strokes near the, in the back nine. So clearly a very dynamic round out there that was taking place today. Yeah. Uh, what else did you see on the leader card? How was everyone else shooting? Um, we had a good group. I knew we would. A lot of good attitude guys. Um, Eagle shot even. MJ shot three down. Um, kind of up and down, struggling back and forth. Some good. Sh everybody threw some great shots. Um, Nate shot a five down, and I shot the eight down. And now you are famous for throwing one of the best forehands in the game. Do you find yourself relying on that more heavily, or are you going backhand out here on this course? I would say I'm throwing about 90% forehands at the, on this course. It's like uh, so many ropes, really position golf, distance is not, even though it is a big open course, it's not a course you really see a lot of 500 plus foot shots. So I'm playing conservative golf, um, but you know, going for birdies, but I'm trying to put myself Imbalance is paramount and uh, mostly achieving that. All right, now you have a very solid lead card. Are you familiar with everyone uh, no, I don't who's going to be on it tomorrow? Well, we're going to get all those stats up for you and let everyone know, but it's uh, going to be a good battle. we got Paul McBeth, your traveling buddy. He's still sitting on the second card, and there's a lot of guys that feel like they're in the hunt, but you keep up this consistent play, you're going to be tough to catch. I hope so. All right, that's Nate Saxon, co-leader here, halfway through at the 2015 USDGC.